Guys, I need you all to evacuate right now. We have a crocodile on the... Ah! So, oh, jeez. Okay, that's it. Oh, that... <laughs> <laughs> genuinely scary. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. We are currently at the zoo because of this suggestion right here. It says, can you do a zoo escape story and also add a lot of cowardly coals? So I actually found this map. It was like it was meant to be. So yeah, we're just gonna check out all the animals, see what it's like. We got a bunch of these guys just falling over so yeah these are all the coals on the right we have some water buffaloes elephants giraffes this is amazing this is such a nice zoo see it's nice to play this game and just admire the animals and not have any fighting going on or anything like that hey how are you guys doing you enjoying your experience at the zoo this is like the closest i've ever been to his face he looks kind of weird nice blue eyes though and then look on the left we've actually got some polar bears i don't think this is quite the right environment for them wait what's this one doing this guy seems kind of mean oh he wants to eat me <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh my goodness oh no one locked the door we got a crocodile oh geez okay everyone evacuate the zoo a crocodile has managed to get out uh oh guys run run for your life right now that's it run Cole, run <laughs> Oh, no, dude, no. He's about to be eaten by the crocodile. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, bro. Run. He's about to get messed up. Let's just watch it happen, shall we? Oh, oh, we got him. Oh, that's so vicious. Okay, we're going to have to get out of here. There's a lot of people back here, though. Um, Okay, where do I go? We can't go out that way. I mean, we could exit the zoo that way, but I need to help these people. Oh, he's after me. We got to go. We got to run. Ah! <laughs> okay, a lot of fatalities at this zoo. I wonder how much this zoo will have to pay out. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this is this is gonna be a lot of money right here. Oh, look at the little cubs. Oh, it's so adorable. Look at the tigers. Tiger cubs. Anyway, right. We need to find an employee. Someone that works here that can deal with this problem. We need a tranquilizer gun. That's what we really need. Okay, there's nothing. There's something down here. We've got rhinos on the right and cape buffaloes over here, I think. But that's not useful. Oh, look. Here's, here's the... Uh, is the area where the crocodile escaped. Okay, that's no no help to us. Aha! I have found the employee shack. And we have a shotgun here, plus some ammo. Hey, buddy. I need to go kill a crocodile. I'm wasting a lot of time by looking at the animals, so let's go right now. All right, where is it? There it is, there it is. I'm coming for you, croc. I hate to do this, but it has to be done. Wait, is he stuck? He's, he's, he is literally stuck right now. Maybe we don't have to take him out. His body is so long that he's just stuck in the between the blocks here. I could probably just jump over him. Look. Oh, okay. That might be a bad idea. Hang on a minute. There we go. Guys, I need you all to evacuate right now. We have a crocodile on the... Ah! So, oh, jeez. Okay, that's it. Oh, that... <laughs> that genuinely scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry for screaming. Right, let me head back over there. Make sure that none of us have escaped because I think the door is still unlocked. Someone is definitely getting fired. And why are you so aggressive? I haven't done anything to you. Okay, let's just wait. Is that a croc right behind the door now? There's literally a crocodile blocking the door. Okay, door's open. There's no way of locking it, but you know, as long as that crocodile there is blocking it, I guess we're good. Uh-oh, I am now <laughs> in the enclosure. We are surrounded by the crocodiles. You know what? The rest of them don't actually seem to be uh, after me. These guys, they seem pretty friendly. You know what? I'm just gonna leave you guys be. There you go. Zoo has now been secured. Zoo now closed. Closing the zoo. Everyone, exit out of it, please. Get out. That's it. Out you go. Thank you. Now, the next suggestion here says to make a mega poo Jekyll gorilla. I don't know why there's a sad emoji face in that, but sure. So this here is the regular poo Jekyll gorilla. And now let's go ahead and scale them up. I'm excited for this because I'm guessing it means that the poo is also going to be ginormous as well. I don't know why that excites me, but it does. Right, there we go. He can stand up, okay? Wait, no, he's actually falling over. Oh, no, okay. He might be a little bit too big, but maybe he can still poo while sitting down like that. Let's uh, let's see. Archer's now lined up. Let's start the battle and see what happens. Oh, okay, he's now standing up, but he's doing like backflips and stuff. Well, at least the regular size gorilla is actually doing some stuff. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, did you see that? I think he managed to uh, <laughs> to poo out a little bit there. Right, clearly we need to make him a lot smaller. Otherwise, this just won't work. 
We've now scaled him to 3.5. He can stand up, so let's hope he can actually fire the poo. Uh-oh. What's he doing? Ah! <laughs> He just jumped on my camera. Okay, come on, buddy. Just fire the poo. But the main reason this actually, uh, you know, excites me is because I'm hoping that because he will be creating larger poos, when he throws them, it should be a larger explosion, right? That's my force behind it. And I'm also going to assume the force behind the person who wrote the comment. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> All right, so he can still do it, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have much of an effect. Right, we'll scale him down again to three. And actually, if I bump up the attack multiplier, let's see if we can create a poo nuke. That's right, you heard me right, a poo nuke. So we'll set it to like 100,000, start, and now let's see what happens. Okay, clearly, he's still probably too big. 2.5. Come on. Wow. He really, if you scale him up even a small amount, he seems to struggle a lot to walk. Oh, here we go. He's got it. He's got it. <gasps> oh, well, it probably killed them instantly, right? Yep. The people he hit, it did kill. It wasn't quite the poo nuke I had intended for. Now it's time for war. Pooject our gorillas. Charge. Right. Prepare the poo. That's it. And fire. Yes, come on. Take down that wall. Oh, wow. Look at that. Been completely destroyed. And all of these people on the other side are just wandering around right now. Yeah, keep firing. Keep firing. It's going to be really difficult for them to actually push through this wall because of all the blocks that have been left over. So I'm hoping they'll still be able to actually win this wall. Yeah, see, they're just literally firing into the blocks now that have already been taken down. And they literally can't do anything. So, uh... Yeah, it would take a very long time for them to win this one. So for that reason, I'm ending the battle. Now we're ready. Let's do this. Come on. Yes. Oh, I've spawned in so many here. So many different gorillas. Hey, right, come on. Goru's going over. The army of Goru's. So I've scaled these up to about two. So they're a lot larger now. And uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure I had these guys as well. So they can actually climb over the destroyed wall easier than the others. So that's exactly what they've done. And as you can tell, they're doing a lot of damage now to the enemies, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Right, we just need all of you to get on the other side and take these guys out. They're just wandering around, doing nothing. Oh, uh, just getting thrown across the map. Look at this guy. Whee! Oh no, we got one down. Nope, he's still alive. I thought he was dead. Oh, hang on a minute. No, we do actually have one dead right here. I didn't realize. And now this one's gone off the map, which means we only have one more guru. No. But it's okay because we still have the Poojectile Gorillas firing poo, which is also probably doing damage to our team, which is probably why they're all actually dead. That is one magical horse. How is he flying like that? Oh, never mind. He's, he's still kind of flowing though. Well, I think it's fair to say we have won this battle. Our next suggestion here is to armor up Coward Cole and put weapons on him and make him fight a Velociraptor. I'm not sure why a Velociraptor, but sure, we'll do that. I'm looking forward to doing this because I haven't really added armor to humans before in this game. So let's actually add armor to him to begin with. I know it says to put weapons on him, but I think we give him, give him a better chance of surviving. Yeah, let's just give him these big like shoulder pieces to begin with, shall we? There we go. I'm actually really excited to see how this turns out. I've never seen Coward Co here kill another creature. At least I don't think I have anyway. So, umbrella in the right hand. And then how about like a shield in the other? Yeah, <laughs> looking good. So I'm trying to make a helmet right now. But the issue is I can't scale down the armor anymore. It's at point two right now. And I just can't go any lower than that. So it looks... A little bit ridiculous. Now, we could actually counter this issue by scaling him up, but uh, I think we'll just leave him how he is. Now, he looks like a, an astronaut or something. I think that should do for the armor. I, I don't think he's going to need any more. I mean, well, he probably would, but we're going to move on now to the weapons. We'll go for the animal weapons as opposed to the organic weapons because I don't think having tentacles on this guy would probably look very good. So, I guess we'll add some machine guns on his shoulders like this. Now, something we need to remember is he likes to run away. So there's a good chance that he will actually be facing the wrong way when he's fighting the creature. So if I put them on back to front, that might give him a better chance of surviving. I know it looks ridiculous, but he will run away. It's just in his nature. He's a coward, okay? I mean, to be fair, if I was fighting a Velociraptor, I don't think I would fight. Although you don't stand a good chance of actually escaping, do you? Oh, well, maybe I should add spikes to the back of him then. When it tries to bite me, 
Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Here we go. Lots of spikes. Don't worry, Cole. You'll survive, I'm sure. You'll, you'll be all right. Hopefully. Okay, let's see what happens. I have a feeling that he's actually going to win because of the guns. Here we go. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Wait, I might be wrong. No. Oh, we did win. Yes. All right, that was probably due to the spikes. Now, from doing that, I realized that the turrets, I think they whipped around and that's what messed them up. So let's remove the turrets and I'll place them on the right side this time. Let's see what he does. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, that's better. He managed to run away, but the Velociraptor is just way too quick. Oh, no, it actually won that time. Right. I'm going to move the Velociraptor way back here because it is extremely fast. Okay, let's see what happens now. Here we go. It's firing, firing. The spike's ready as well. He's not running yet because he's not quite close enough. And here we go. He's going to turn around in a second. Oh, wait, no, he won. Nice. But can he survive against four Velociraptors? Here we go. Oh, I accidentally knocked him over my camera. No, sorry. Don't. Oh, no, no, no. Run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that might have been my fault. For some reason in this game, your camera has physics to it or like a hitbox. So yeah, it's just one of the things you have to look out for. Okay, let's try again. So as you can see, the guns only really focus on one at a time by the looks of it. Okay, dude, run. <laughs> the spikes do help though, as you can see, because they just go straight into them. And he's now dead. All right, we need to make some improvements. So here is what I'm going to do. More armor, more weapons. He is now battle ready. Look at him. Look at all that armor, all the weapons on him. Looking pretty good. I'm hoping they won't be able to get a good bite on him. Let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Right, so he has three more tentacles now, as you can see. Well, spikes, and now he's running away. Oh, he's fallen over. No, I'm hoping that's their blood and not mine. No, he's been defeated. But as you can see, it looks like he, man he managed to kill two. So that's not too bad. Surely now he's going to win. We have a lot more armor. We have extra spikes, harpoons, and all that juicy stuff. Come on, Cole. You can do this. Come on, come on. Oh, there goes the harpoon. It's made him fall over. Oh, no. They're attacking him. Come on. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, no way. He's done it. Yes, we finally defeated the Velociraptors. So that was great and everything, but can he take on a T-Rex? Let's find out. I, I am very nervous for him. Oh, uh, oh wait, <laughs> he did it. No way. Yes, say cheese. Proceed. Wait, now we can have an army of them. Yes, the coal army shall rise. Let's see if they can take down the hellhounds. Here we go. Oh, yes, they can. Easy. Goru time. Here we go. Oh. I like how they all just fall over. They, they pretty much just stand there and do nothing. They still won, though. Hmm. I wonder what's behind the wall. Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> it's the Purosaurus. And there's three of them as well. The upgraded ones that I made in a few episodes back. Oh, they're actually winning. They're managing to take out all of them. I mean, it's really laggy because of all the armor we've added here. But it looks like the Purosauruses are winning. Oh, we got one down. One down. Oh, no, two down. Oh, they still won. My goodness. Make sure to leave your suggestions in the comment section down below for me to feature them in the next episode. But on that note, I am going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!